And next up is no other than the man himself, Jar Digger. Giving people a platform to express their truths. As Pentaful said, trigger, trigger, real, realness. Cause you know what I mean? The negativity gets glorified and we don't kind of get a shine on the consciousness. You know what I'm saying? So this is what Pokes of the End is all about. You know what I'm saying? So let me hear some noise for the Yeah. 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 Grandma's place, where all of your uncles and aunties under one roof is the reason why there was a smile on grandma's face. The aroma of soul food creating a whole new sense in my nasal. The reason the question is food ready, being answered like, patience. <laughs> you see, grandma's place is foundation, it's where it started. The old school furniture, the vintage carpet, the fridge magnets on the fridge show that the yard was owned by yardies. The beatings that Kuz got for putting his hands in the Dutch pot when you're in there. Because all you heard is about the blood clot, but of course, that came second there. You see, I miss Grandma's place. She passed away. And when she died, things changed because some of the family don't even chat today. So I'm like, come on, if I made 2K. I'll be like, here's a grandma, like I'm bringing back my mum's mum. We gotta keep the family tight, keep the legacy living. So I sit my cousins down, turn the TV up on our television with hell in description. My grandma's place was the heartbeat. It had a vibe. And even though she died, it doesn't die, I wouldn't lie. So if your grandma's alive, phone her up, tell her hi, say something nice. Come on, mate. Because what would Sundays be without grandma's place? Now, now, now. Have you ever been peckish and food was a plan? And then, boom, grandma's place was a place you knew there was scrap. En route in a flash, containers for leftovers, food in the bag, job done. And no matter how old you are, if you get sent shot, you're doing the shot run for hot bun, basmati rice seasoning, and they crossword. The Asian man in the corner store knew granny well. And every time I entered this shop, we wish granny well. Shout out to Akbar. Because even when it was closing, he let us inside to top up the gas card. Grandma's place where it was righteous with some pure. I couldn't have been the only grandchild to try the moonwalk on a slidey kitchen floor. <laughs> Barry's hammering in the background, I couldn't get tired of his voice. Kitchen table, every plate full. Yo, cousin, that lucky cheese, hand it over. Food done. Nigga, right, this ain't nothing more comfy than my granny's sofa. My grandma's place was the heartbeat. It had a vibe. And even though she died, it doesn't die. I wouldn't lie. So if your grandma's alive, Phone her up, tell her hi, say something nice. Come on, mate. Because what would Sundays be without Grandma's place? Yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, sometimes like, some parents get overlooked, you know, and they're like the pillars of the family. They, they're the ones that hold it all together. So we have to look out for our grandparents, you know what I mean? Make sure everything's all kosher. You get what I'm saying? This is what this is what life's about now. They're not they're getting older, you know what I mean? We're, we're the adults now, so it's it's only right, you know what I mean? They've done their duties. So that's that one is dedicated to the grandparents. This next one's called Poet of the Ends. I'm just gonna get straight into it. I'm not talking bed snacks. When I say bread back is what I consume for that whole day main course. You see, we literally had to brainstorm a way for us not to stay poor, so eight balls, a flake roll was what put food on my table, and I'm not proud. I'm sick of these middle class kids who act like they never had a silver spoon shot down their idle mouth. I've put my life on it. How ironic, we're trying to get out, but they want to be in. You know how much people are dead? You know how much people have been juiced upon meds and these suburban books want to flex on our mess? I'm not buying that gangster act. What, could they drive a prestige car and wear a fancy hat? You don't know about the struggle and the stance it has. You ain't nothing gullet. In fact, go and spend mummy's money and hush it for me. Because these little brothers round my way, they'll know the half a box and have you meet up round my way and you know how that goes. 
quarter quarters I've known have been stripped of their backbone. What's the flopping this to a hard drive? Worm like. Yeah. These crackers are always trying to jack us and call their bull crap jerk rice. These brothers think they're going somewhere fast, but they're too loud. Dirt bike you hurt mine. I mean, I told you. I deal with manners and respect. And when it comes to elders, it's hello goodbye because we were taught to speak when we was told to. I see some of these big kids telling their parents, shut up. <laughs> if I tried that as a you, I'd get broke up. <laughs> TV while you never melt, I was cut up. I would hit the ground so hard I don't think I would have got up. How dare some? Kids bagging up the people who brought them here, come. I teach my kids, if you see any of your peers rant on their peer runs, then you can't be friends. Now I'm glad we got that cleared up, now help me clear up house chores. Grab these detergents, scrub that ground floor. Cause if you thought you was gonna be a couch spud on a downfall, on a tablet, bad luck. It no goes, I ain't with that. Yeah. And if, this, if, if I see any of these kids talking reckless to their parents, I'ma make them feel this small. Cause that's not bossy fam. See, I'm from an area where kids used to help elderly women with their shopping bags. And when they tried to give us money, it was like, nah, nah, we got you, nah, and that weren't even grandma. See, I told you where we've gone wrong, complacent, so the place was neat. We don't socialise. We sit on our arse doing the timeline scroll, watching the world tell social lies. Oh, we won't, because we've got open eyes. And because our eyes are open and we won't, there's potent lies being told. Plus, the kids are the victims. I can see eyes being rolled. See, I think they want me to preach. So I'm a preach like a pastor in his peak. I'm a preach like one of them American scholars in the street. These young juveniles are being pulverized and expecting a week. If we don't water our flower, the books, it dies. Mm. Intuition. That's what talks inside like when you walk with a knife and that voice comes alive. Listen, it speak. Conscience. I'm on this. Slash I'm not on this. Righteousness be wrongness. Go ahead, listen to your soul. We should be planning our visions, attacking our goals. Instead of banging on ops like man, them let's roll, it's lame. I'd rather work in an Asda stock room than doing bird in pen in a prison costume. Boy. You see, see, I, I'd rather be dead broke than dead folk. You see, yeah, see, I, I'd rather, come on, you get the gist. Yeah. I'm not saying anyone's a perfectionist, but this waste of talent makes me sick. I know kids who should be playing in the premiership, slump dead in the whip, or strung up off crack. They should be earning 50k a week. That's an abundance of cash. Go do yourself proud. Go rep for your town. Go break this omen that's been put on his road, man. And show, man, we're more than showmen for this road team. We believe in you. Yeah. And you see, look, we're just in public stuff to end. And now we don't pretend. When the world gives us fabrication, we're here to drop you gems. Yeah.